throughout the ages, empires rise and fall. So could could the popping of the everything bubble spell the end of America? No, nope. This is Brian Lewis with MMT Investing and Things Just Changed. So when I'm talking about the end of America, the, the American empire, I'm not, I'm not saying like the country is going to end. I'm just saying the, uh, just the world reserve currency system that we have right now, uh, might end eventually yeah so i mean this point is is a point that is gonna make people question our current reserve system it's broken it's not working so people are gonna have to try to figure something else to do soon but as of right now there's really no alternative to the dollar um so it's not like i mean what would you what would you switch to I mean, people say like Bitcoin might be the next reserve currency, and that is a, you know, possibility, but not this year. Like, there's no way Bitcoin could take on the responsibility of the world reserve currency. Like, there's channels and systems in place to provide money to uh, every business on earth right now. You can't, Bitcoin can't do that. Like, I mean, it just doesn't. It doesn't work like that. So, also, I think people people think that if your country has the the world reserve currency, like it's this big like benefit to your country and you're super awesome or something like that, and it's it just it, that it also doesn't work like that. Like providing the world reserve currency is a huge burden on the country that's providing it, and it usually ends up dragging the currency down so hard that i mean that it switches over to someone else um so and it's also not that big of a deal for it to switch uh to someone else i mean sometimes it happens kind of quick if there's a good alternative and one of them drops in a hurry like it could switch kind of quick i mean i think when it switched from from like the from the dutch to the spanish i think that one was pretty quick but um it doesn't need to be quick or dramatic like it can just rotate to the next one because this one's not a good option uh, if you look if you look at the the history of reserve currencies i mean like in the greece and rome kind of areas there are some reserve currencies that lasted a couple hundred years or like thousand years or something like that um, if you look at europe in the last 500 years they last about 100 years each so, I mean, we had like the Dutch had a, the reserve currency and the Spanish and then the British. So, and those are all about 100 years. And uh, then we switched, you know, from the British pound to the US dollar. So, it's, it's kind of choppy. So, you know, like 1900s, brown, the British pound was the reserve currency. And then up into like the 30s ish it was sort of like competing currency between the pound and the dollar and then you know by the 50s the dollar was the world reserve currency like the fed dollar was the world reserve currency but that started switching you know in the 50s and 60s it switched away from the fed providing the world currency to uh banks international banks outside of the fed system per starting to provide the world currency so i mean like when i say euro dollar here on these charts like that international dollar system of banks loaning dollars is that is our world reserve currency right now. Um, and so this system is in a crisis right now. I mean, I think a lot of countries would like to switch off of this system. I'm pretty sure America is pretty tired of it as well. Um, but you can't, there's nothing to switch to. So, I mean, I think everyone's going to have to kind of come together and figure out what's going on. I don't think it has to be super dramatic. You know, if there was some crazy event that like really destroyed the dollar in a hurry, uh, I mean, I th people would have to figure out a way to switch fast, but uh, there's nothing that looks like that's coming. And 
yeah, it's probably going to be a gradual roll out from here to some other competing kind of currencies and maybe some Bitcoin and uh, I don't know. I hear people getting like scared about the end of the the dollar as the world reserve currency and it doesn't have to be that dramatic of a thing. I mean, you could just gradually roll out to competing currencies and I've actually heard Jerome Powell mention that we might be entering another age of competing currencies uh, like we had earlier in America. So uh, if you're scared of the the end of America or the end of the reserve currency, um, it doesn't need to be a crazy thing. And it doesn't, it's probably not going to happen very fast just because there's no alternative to the dollar system right now. Um, so hope that was interesting. Uh, and this crash is a big crash, but it's not like the end of the world here. It's just, it's just the blow off of a bubble. So that is that. This is not trading advice. Please hit the like button to help me out and happy trading.